So I've been using Remarkable 2 for more than a week now and I'm actually completely blown away on how well it fits into my current working environment. So those who don't know, I actually come from an architectural background for my academic years and I actually have a business that provides uh, floor plans and elevation section, all these architectural uh, services to my clients who are mainly on the commercial sections and um, you would imagine I need to print out loads of papers before I attend to meeting with my clients and that's not environmentally friendly but in case of the Remarkable 2 if I'm going to use it is that all I need to do is use my AutoCAD and then convert it into a PDF and then um, you have to make sure you actually install the Remarkable app both on your uh, smartphone and on your PC and all you need to do is after you convert your AutoCAD files into a PDF format you just right click on it and said and say send it to the Remarkable cloud service so automatically when you turn on your Remarkable 2 device these will be downloaded as long as your Remarkable 2 is connected wirelessly and it's it's really good actually so all you need to do is present these floor plans to your client and then scribble in front of them so it makes you look very professional but not only that it also keeps your records in a very tidy way so if you would imagine if I were to print out five or six of the floor plans when I actually every single time I attend a meeting by the time I actually attend several meetings it'll be very difficult to trace all those records while as this thin tiny device will hold every single record so all I need to do is scroll um, here and there and that's it's much easier to find all those records indeed and not only that it saves a lot of space and and so on so I'm really impressed the way how you can work around with Remarkable 2. So I've been observing Remarkable 2 for several months after it has been released and one of the things that really put me off was by uh, using your pen you had to zoom in and zoom out and I thought that was really silly but when I found out recently that the most updated version it, it allows you to scroll into your screen by using your two fingers like that and also you can scroll by using this way and that way with all the uh, screen sensitivity with your fingers I thought that was the best selling point for me so I bought it immediately after I find that out but um, you, you'll notice that your brain is so trained up with the previous all these iPad and smart devices that if, you, if your finger touches the screen it somehow is going to interrupt the, uh, the main thing that you're trying to achieve here while as the, the beauty about Remarkable 2 is that when you're on the main page of Scribble, your finger does not actually affect at all with drawing lines or it's not going to make any marks at all. It's purely by using your pen that you could actually draw lines and um, take notes and etc. I even took out the actual pen, the end pen, to see whether there's any magic behind it. But by using this pen itself, it doesn't somehow leave any lines at all, but it has to be plugged into the actual main a pen that does not have any battery which is just magical because this is really convenient because I, we all know that the Apple pen or the Surface Pro pen all these pen needs a battery to run it while as remarkable you don't really need uh, the battery for the pen it, it, it's just there's there's no need to worry about it you could just scribble on and on and on it'll last forever all you need to do is during certain times you'll just need to change the pin. Yes, the battery life is incredibly good because it's the way how it's designed is that if you leave the device alone for a few moments, it will automatically be in a standby mode. So um, it hardly consumes any battery once it's on, it's on the standby mode. And um, I've actually fully charged up to 100% and I've been using it for almost a week now, not heavily, but still it, the battery life remained up down to 64% so you don't feel like you need to charge it every day uh, just like the pen it will last forever without any charging whatsoever um, while as we all know that the iPad and um, like any smart device you even though you don't use it and you just leave it on the battery will consume because it needs to be constantly downloading this and that and well we all know how it works but this makes a lot of sense on the next stage of taking notes or scribble on any of the architecture related purpose and that's why I'm so glad I actually bought this device. Yes there's a bit of a downside just like any other device which is that for me 
is that um, I wish when I zoom right into a particular area on the floor plan, the thickness of the line will actually become thinner. But in fact, if you zoom in and zoom out, it doesn't matter how thin uh, you, you set up your thickness of your line, it will be the same proportion. So there's no point zooming in sometimes. I wish Remarkable Team will consider an option for a guy like me where I could zoom right in and then the line will become incredibly thin so that all those information will be, will be revealed after you zoom right in. That's how um, you can put so many information, but because of the thickness, of the line remains no matter whether you zoom in and zoom out in the same proportion um, there it, it feels like you're really restricted on the information you can put in obviously you could duplicate the same page and um, put in some extra notes on the next page which is an alternative but i wish remarkable team can consider that option as for the uh, next update the other thing is that i actually have some uh, PDF floor plans based on the CAD file that has several lines and it's just over a megabyte I think it's about 1.4 megabyte of a PDF file but once I'm trying to open it up there's a bit of a delay you can see these dots appearing and it takes a few seconds to actually uh, finalize the whole appearance of the drawing and it's only 1.4 uh, megabyte so that kind of worries me a bit if I'm gonna um, actually upload a floor plan that's way more complex than this particular floor plan. So in an architectural point of view, should you get one? Yes, it's uh, very architectural friendly. Again, all you need to do is convert your floor plans into a PDF. And once you download the Remarkable app, either on your smartphone or on your computer, all you need to do is uh, forward that onto your cloud system, which will automatically your Remarkable tool will download and then you could work on just like a paper, how you scribble on. I guess a lot of architects will prefer black and white, but for me, if I have to be very, very extremely picky is that I wish Remarkable would allow in the future, probably Remarkable 3, where you could put minimum colors like simple red and blues so that you could differentiate certain notes and etc that would be perfect for me but in fact again the way how it is now is perfect the way how it works uh, for for my even my working environment and i'm sure uh, this paperless device is going to be very helpful for the environment as well because we all know we have to admit even all these people at architecture field we actually feel guilty printing out so many uh, hard copies in a paper and scribble and then throw it away printing it out, out and again I think remarkable if a lot of architects actually use remarkable to device like this or similar We're gonna help the environment, but also not only that it's gonna save space um, And also you're gonna be way more organized and also well uh, professionally presented to your clients and well dialoguing with your colleagues as well um, it's pretty much straightforward device. It, you don't need to actually uh, do all this magical work and it's very easy to use and it's just straight, straightforward. And um, I wish so many people could use this um, to realize how good this device is. So I hope this video clarified how good Remarkable 2 is in an architectural point of view. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.